With this app, you get Bubble Clouds both on your phones and tablets home screens and on the screen of your Android Wear smartwatch if you have one. You can use it on either or on both. Bubble Clouds are amorphous groups of colorful circles. They give you access to your apps, contacts, websites, and even let you start task or tasks. The trick is that bubbles can grow with use. The more frequently used bubbles may stand out from the crowd. I'm going to show you the home screen widgets first. The smartwatch section starts at 4 minutes 10 seconds. Drag the widget from the widget picker of your launcher. In most launchers, you will need to long press on the widget to be able to make it bigger. Then you can tap on it to add bubbles. I recommend to name each cloud for later reference and add bubbles by tapping on each of them in the grid or select a Play Store category and add all items using the floating plus plus button. Press the check mark to get back to your home screen. If the bubbles appear distorted, that means your launcher does not supply the correct size information to the widgets. Unfortunately, this is a common problem. Even stock launchers don't do this correctly. But I created a workaround. You can enable launcher compatibility mode and mark the corners of the widget. You won't find many other widgets which can morph themselves to fill available space like bubble clouds do. But to achieve this, it is essential to get the precise area. Even if your launcher provides the correct size, you will want to mark the corners for the bubble opening animation to work. You can modify a cloud by tapping on the pencil. Then, tap the red outline bubbles to edit their size, color, or image. You can pick bubble images from standard Android icon packs or crop any part of an image from your gallery. Long press the trash can icon if you need to remove a bubble. New bubbles, when added, appear in the center of the cloud. But other than this, the layout is random. You can change the arrangement by adjusting the bubble spacing or the rotation angle. Tap the circle plus symbol to get back to the cloud configuration screen. This is where you can add more bubbles, change the background color to make it transparent for example. You can freeze bubbles so they will stop to grow. You can enable auto population, so if new apps are installed of the selected Play Store categories, their bubbles will automatically appear in the clouds. You will not have to add them after you install an app. And you can add bubbles which start task or tasks. Please watch my separate video on this topic. And you can change the icon pack used in the cloud, again, this is explained in a separate video. In the central settings app, you can control default settings for all the clouds. Just one example, you can hide the pencil in all of the widgets, which will make them look cleaner and you can still edit them by double tapping on an empty area in the widgets. In the pro version of the app, you can place an unlimited number of bubble clouds, including bookmark and contact clouds too. Bookmark bubble clouds are special because you can add bubbles by sharing them from your favorite web browser. Please watch my separate video on this. When you remove a widget, its bubbles are saved and you will be prompted to restore them the next time you create a widget. You can also move bubbles between widgets. Bubble clouds on your smartwatch can be used in two distinct ways. If you have a favorite watch face, you can keep using it and drag the app drawer in from the edge of the screen. Select which side the drawer is located at. Adjust the size of the handle. You can see only the upper half of the edge is sensitive. This is to reduce interference with other apps and cards in the watch. And you can also double tap on this hotspot to engage the app drawer. Alternatively, you can use bubble clouds as a very practical interactive watch face. 
beyond the clock bubble and various other information bubbles, you can place a few of your most often used apps on the watch face. Tap the clock bubble to switch between active launcher mode when you can swipe to access the rest of your apps or when the clock bubble is black, your swipes and long presses will have their usual functions as in any other watch face to access the cards, settings or the system app list. This toggling hack is necessary because watch faces don't register swipe gestures normally. To save battery power and prevent screen burning, set your ambient watch face to use hollow bubbles or even hide some of the bubbles in ambient mode. As a burning prevention measure, you can have the bubbles to rotate around the clock bubble. Use the Android Wear card in the phone app to choose whether you want app drawer mode or the dedicated watch face mode. Either way, you can organize your apps into two clouds. The favorites, which can only be a screen full, and the archive cloud, which will expand horizontally to allow for any number of icons. Long press bubbles on the watch to move them between archive and favorite. You can have the screen brightness control between these two clouds. Press the A to toggle auto brightness on smartwatches with light sensors, on watches with OLED screens, the A stands for ambient brightness. You can dim the ambient watch face to conserve battery or reduce distraction in the theater, for example. The brightness control will store a different setting for daylight and nighttime and switch between them at sunset and sunrise. As you could see on various screenshots so far, the bubbles can be arranged in a variety of layouts including the random cloud of bubbles similar to the home screen widgets. But there are more structured layouts, both for the favorite and the archive clouds. One of the strengths of bubble clouds is that if you choose, the icons can grow to different sizes according to their use frequency. There is even a drag and drop layout designer for those who want to create their own layouts with complete control over the size and position of the bubbles in the favorites cloud and the watch face. You can export and share your layouts using the clipboard. Another thing you might have noticed in the screenshot so far is the shape of the icons. With the use of standard Android icon packs, Theming your app drawer offers limitless possibilities. You can pick individual icons or apply a theme to all the bubbles at once. Even the live info bubbles can be themed. You can also set the background to any color or use image backgrounds as wallpapers behind the favorites or archive clouds. Both analog and digital clock bubble faces are customizable with colors and graphics. The Wear Cloud Editor navigation item takes you to the list of apps installed on your watch. Set the cloud for each app, favorite or archive, or completely hide unwanted apps from the app drawer. And this is where you can assign live info to the different bubbles. The bubble for the calendar app should show the current date. The fitness app icon can show the daily steps count. The weather app bubble may be set to show the weather conditions, and there are more. You can enable ring mode and Wi-Fi toggle bubbles, which will also toggle tethering hotspot if you choose. Bubble Clouds was the first launcher on Android Wear to offer sticky open mode, which will pin any app to your screen without draining the battery by reopening them when you tilt to wake the watch. Double tap icons to sticky open them, or mark apps in the list, which will always be opened in sticky mode. There is more. Long press the clock bubble for a non-dimming full screen watch face with smooth moving seconds hand for perfect pulse taking. Double tap the clock bubble or use the dedicated bubble for one touch voice search from the watch face. Tap the phone battery bubble to beacon your phone, which will stop ringing as soon as you find it and pick it up. Add any number of tasker bubbles to your watch, which can start tasker tasks on your phone. Control music this way or switch profiles, open phone apps. Your imagination is the limit. 
have the screen turn sideways while the watch is on charger. You can install a separate plugin for your watch to preserve your health by reminding you to stand up if prolonged inactivity is detected. Use the last navigation item to create and maintain a cloud of contacts on your watch. Add a maximum of 15 contacts by groups or recent callers. Call, text or email them right from your watch. Long press on the watch to set a default means of communication when the contact is tapped. Long press on the contact bubble to change the default. And this is the current state of Bubble Cloud Widgets and Launcher. It's a complete system as you can see. There are so many fans and so much interest that you can be sure many more features are coming in the future.